All right, this time I'm going to show you how to install the SD-WAN client on the Windows 11 operating system. So I already went ahead to Customer Connect and I downloaded the installer for Windows and I'm just going to go ahead and click Open here. So similar to the Mac operating system video um, that I did on this topic, we're just going to go through the prompts. Um, you'll notice here that there is a configuration option that's unchecked. We'll talk about this in another video. Um, but what this is uh, for is a headless logon. So think of a server device that doesn't have a user identity. However, in this case, we're just showing this as a client, so we'll leave that unchecked. Now, there's another option here to disable DNS over HTTPS when using Chrome. So in another video, we'll dive a little bit deeper into uh, some of the more powerful capabilities of the solution. Um, ideally, you would want to disable this. So um, the reason for that is we can do some really interesting things with DNS with our client connector, which is another node type that we'll talk about in the future. Just for now, we'll go ahead and check that box. And the installation process will begin. All right, so installation is finished and now we are able to log in our client. So I'm just gonna come here and click the finish button. And now, um, just like before, we're gonna grab our user credentials and we're going to log in. And here we're using uh, single sign-on with Okta. So once we authenticate um, with our identity provider, then we'll be allowed to participate in the SD-WAN fabric. And there you go, we are connected. So I hope you found this video informational and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.